Web is an extraordinary place. wonderful to be in a room with web folk and I love to hear the stories and I love to see the camaraderie. Why is it that this brief stop over on the voyage of life that we call web is so important? First day I entered the class I can remember being scared to death because the challenge was at hand. I learned a lot here at web. I learned to find a mission and a destiny and commit yourself totally to All it. of our parents among you have entrusted to us your son greatly value the confidence and the trust that you show in us by allowing us to share in their education. Vivian Webb would be proud of this class, her daughter's strong. I can't thank you enough for all being here. You all look like my children. Well, I want to tell you the web school story tonight. I don't know any way to tell this story without talking about my own experience. We got to Claremont with less than $100. It was all orange groves in those days. Nobody lived up this side of town at all. I had no money, but I'd been born and reared in a boys' school and had been teaching in one for four years, and I thought I knew how to run one. My wife said she would teach five of the classes, and I was to teach eight. Plain living and high thinking. When Thompson Webb opened the Webb School in California in 1922, that's the motto he chose for the group of students he would affectionately come to call his boys. I entered Webb School in the fall of 1928, and Thompson Webb, together with his faculty, reached out to me and profoundly molded my life. Thompson's fledgling boarding and day schools started with just four teachers, including Thompson and his wife Vivian. And as the school grew, Thompson sought out faculty with good values, a love of learning, a keen curiosity, and a strong character. He knew that boarding school teachers are unique, more than just experts. They are coaches, advisors, dorm heads, role models, and nurturers. And to many students, they are a second family. None more so than Vivian Webb, whose student birthday parties were the stuff of legend. I don't think there's a Webb boy here who hasn't got moments where she was his mother away from home. Thompson was so proud of Vivian and used to tell us students about it, frequently with tears in his eyes, of how he came to start the school, how he and Vivian for a complete partnership in that undertaking. Thompson also wanted the faculty to have a vested interest in the success of the school, and so the Webb School became more than a job. It was a home, a place where faculty could raise a family, and many did just that. Ultimately, to the degree that our students and our school is successful, it is thanks to our teachers. They are in the classrooms, in the labs, in the library, on the playing fields, in the dormitories. One of the earliest and most influential faculty members to join Webb was Ray Alf. In 1929, Ray was hired to teach biology, but he did far more. In 1936, he took his students fossil hunting in the Mojave Desert, where they unearthed a 15 million year old peccary skull. Soon these peccary trips became a beloved Webb tradition and Ray Alf's hands-on approach to learning became a hallmark of a Webb education. And in 1968, Webb opened the Raymond M. Alf Museum, and it would later become the nation's only high school with an accredited Museum of Paleontology. Raymond Alf provided the high point in my career here as a student at Webb School. Time is of the essence, and I learned that from Ray Alf. Well, turn around here. I have a time spiral. This spiral is 50 feet long and represents just the last two billion years of Earth history. On it are recorded some of the most significant events in the history of life. The stand represents the first 2.6 billion years of Earth history. 
Over here is the beginning of the age of dinosaurs. Here we have the beginning of the age of warm-blooded mammals. Six-tenths of an inch from the end represents the age of man as an upright beast. And the dust on the tip represents the entire time of recorded human history. So you see, we as human beings have on the earth just a moment. Question, what are you going to do with your little moment of time? <laughs> By the 1980s, there was a growing demand for high-quality independent education for girls. And so, in 1981, the Webb School of California welcomed the Vivian Webb School as an independent girls' school on a shared campus. Today, these two schools are matched in size, scope, and substance with the same core values and mission. I was one of the first 34 students, the first group of girls, to attend the Vivian Webb School. We called ourselves the pioneers. When we walked into that dining hall, you know, 1981, we walked in as a pack. It was so empowering when we took that step across the threshold. It was one of the most amazing moments of my life. Together, the Webb School of California and the Vivian Webb School have become a destination for bright, curious adventure seekers who want to explore and expand the frontier of knowledge and use their own hands to dig into new discoveries. This may not look like a conventional classroom, but Dr. Don Lofgren is not a conventional teacher. He treats his students like they were already paleontologists, not like he's an expert and he's teaching students. Last year, Lofgren's paleontology students set out on what they thought would be an ordinary field trip, but it was far from ordinary. When we found the dinosaur skeleton in Montana, you know, I was kind of shocked because we usually find a, a bone here, a bone there, but here we found a whole leg and a whole tail and skin impressions. This summer, students continued to uncover the remains of a 66 million year old duck billed dinosaur and skin impressions, a rare find that made nationwide headlines. Today, Webb is vibrant, innovative, and dynamic. The kind of place where anything is possible and anyone with the right blend of integrity, ambition, and curiosity can succeed. From its humble beginnings, the school has grown and thrived, becoming something much greater than its founders could have imagined. And yet it remains deeply rooted in their character and values. Anyone can found a school with a little money, a little help, build some buildings, hire some people. But Thompson created this one not the bricks and mortar, but the character of the whole school as a living institution. This is an institution of greatness. This is an institution that must not only survive, but thrive into the future. This is a special place that we need to continue to support and advance and enhance. I want every student to do what Thompson and Vivian Webb did, to build their lives in an inspiring way, to learn how to think boldly, challenge conventional wisdom, and to have the moral courage to do something truly meaningful the way our founders did. Our first 100 years are a testament to the planning, the fortitude, and the relentless pursuit of greatness by all who came before us. Today, we celebrate not only the past, but all our unbounded potential. The next 100 is upon us, right here, right now. Well, that's my story. I'm glad I did it. My family's glad. We hope this is going to live on through the ages and be a great institution.